Howdy folks, welcome to Chunky J's Space here on YouTube. And welcome to Let's Talk, where we just talk. No things, no distractions, most times, <laughs> no problem. So yes, we're gonna just jump right into it today. I've got a really exciting, um, a really exciting episode planned for today. It, um, it's pretty exciting for me. Some people may not, um, may not share the same passion as I do, but as many of you know, um, in a previous episode, I fully explained what project, uh, my personal project called Project 2001 was all about and um, my uh, deep um, insatiability or <laughs> my deep desire and thirst for, for simpler times. So of course, um, for me, it, it actually has this rings. See, my flip phone, ling ling ling. Um, that was probably one of the first things I got to convert and to um, return to simpler times and Probably one of the first to-do list um, check marks on Project 2001's itinerary and list of um, objects to acquire to fully immerse myself back into 2001. Now, you know, I could have picked any old decade. I could have went real back, far back if I wanted to. Probably would have been a little more challenging to get um, all the vintage pieces needed to authentically uh, kind of kind of live that kind of lifestyle but it's possible I've seen it on YouTube lots of couples who live in the 40s the 50s the Victorian times and and they refuse to budge I really respect that I really have a deep love for that I think actually a part of project 2001 was inspired um, by people like that who are loud and proud about you know the time they feel comfortable in and being old souls and connecting with that openly and just lovingly and you know just being good people and and doing what they love and living the way they want to live i really i really have a lot of admiration and, and love for that um so anyways getting into it <laughs> um my next big find for project 2001 kind of just stumbled into my lap not literally because it would probably cut off my circulation um i finally got my hands on and it was totally not up there on the list i thought maybe in time i would look into it i'd see if i could find something on ebay um or kijiji or something of the sort um was eventually to get a, a crt television you know the big box TVs that are that weigh a ton and you know have the the old yellow yellow red white AV connection and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, that was somewhere on my list in Project 2001 um, because if you get a convert um, um, a converter, you can still enjoy some of the modern. Um, uh, uh, benefits of you know the smart tv and that and the amazon fire stick things of that nature roku they can still all be played fairly well on um crt televisions you just need a, a conversion box thing hdmi to rca or something i can't remember um however yes so before i get into the story because i do want to explain this awesome story of just meant to be, you know, thank you above kind of story. Um, I'd like to show you actually, it's sitting right behind me here. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I move the mic, you can see it. Um, maybe I need a flashlight or I can just turn the light on for the living room. Be right back. Two drops of a hat.
ta-da. <laughs> yes, so that is it, folks. That is my new, uh, my new JVC, new to me anyways, JVC, uh, I think 28 inch um, CRT television. Manufactured December 2000. This baby's 22 years old. Still has a remote, as you can see. You still can't really see it too well. It's a little dark. But, um, you get the gist of it. Um, and it's, of course, it's the big box, so there's a lot of, a lot of booty on that thing. <laughs> it's got a booty. <laughs> it is a heavy one, too. <laughs> Actually, I think I looked up the specs and it said, uh, it's about 78 pounds. So it's, it's quite a hefty mama. Um, oh, and then, of course, um, to the right here, see that either to the right okay I'm gonna have to get off screen here I don't know if you can see it but I've got a stand an original TV stand meant for these big beasts over here that fit right on top and hold 70 pounds and it's got the glass kind of plexiglass kind of um, pop open window door okay. As well, um, I've also got the HD video converter. So this is my access point to um, this is my access point to getting uh, Amazon Fire Stick that I that I usually use well I use daily um, working on there. So it's pretty. It's it's a lot of it's very exciting. This is an exciting part of the project. I kind of just stumbled into my lap because as I say, I wasn't looking for this. I wasn't actively searching. It was somewhere in my list of items required that I, you know, I knew I'd really um, need and, and enjoy. Um, but, but here it is. <laughs> you just take it when you can and you just wait for a miracle. And this was a miracle because the stand as well, I went looking, um, I think almost shy of a week later, and the store, the thrift shop I got it from, I measured it, had all the measurements, and it, it just fit perfect. It's like the same color, and then it was $15, and the lady says, oh, we're having 50% off furniture. So it's only, no, sorry, it was 10 bucks. So I got that for five bucks. I got that stand for five bucks. And it's on wheels. How incredible. So I'm going to stuff my original Xbox in there, hook it up. I'm going to get a VHS DVD combo player and hook that up. I'm going to hook up, of course, Amazon. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'm not sure yet. I might get my hands, I might get my old PS1 pulled out and get that set up too. Start collecting that. But again, not on the list, but... I grew up with PS1. I have an Xbox original, but I grew up with PS1, so I would like to try that again. So yeah, take one last look. Ooh, ah, wow. Oh my gosh. Here's the old remote. Oh, wow. Yeah, it kind of works. I cleaned it up, but, um, I may need to look for a new one, maybe on Amazon or eBay, if someone has one out there, because some of the buttons don't work, but I don't really want to get a new universal remote. I kind of want to stick with this kind of original, as original as I can be, of course. So, um, yeah, JVC, December 2000, this thing's 22 years old. So I'm 25, I was... I was three years old when this TV was released. <gasps> wow. Isn't that something? How old were you when this TV was released? I'd like to know. It's cool It's cool when you look back and do the math and think, huh, I was that age when, you know, this and that or whatever, or events. 
But anyways, now you've seen it. So now I'm gonna tell you the story. But story time needs to be dark because when it's dark for story time, it makes it more cozy. So one second. <laughs> kids let mama get all wrapped up here <laughs> like oh you know I'm really happy actually with the video quality of this camera right now because it's actually showing that my sweater is red it's more red than this like a darker red but when I was taking pictures earlier it, it makes it look orangey. Anyways, off track. Oh, let me catch my breath and have a sip of my Coca-Cola Zero. Ding! <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, so the TV. Incredible story. So me and my best friend Bree, we were, uh, we were gonna hang out and she came to pick me up and uh, it was as easy as this. We just got back to her place and her car pulled up in the spot in front of the, her apartment. And the moment I looked out my door window where we were parking, she was about, she was taking a spot that was right in front of that television. It was sitting right there on the street and I almost lost my, <laughs> I almost blew a gasket, let's put it that way. I really almost did because um, I knew I wanted to get to the point where I'd get a CRT television, but to see one sitting there with a free sign on it, like, oh, it blew my mind, blew my mind. I just, yeah, it was crazy. It was like someone freaking pinched me right now. Like save me a ton of money. Those things are pretty rare these days, but a lot of people you'd be surprised seek them out. A lot of gamers, vintage collectors, um, various sorts of, of different niche collective people actually travel very far. One guy I read online, he went an hour and a half to pick one up for 25 bucks from an elderly woman. And when the elderly woman asked where he's coming from, she was shocked to hear it took him an hour and a half. She goes, for this old thing? <laughs> so in total for that guy, it was three hours of driving, but he was so happy and just relieved that he could find one. So I mean, when I found out it's uh, um, rarity in that, I was pretty, pretty happy about it. So yeah, we pull up in front of the television on the street. I gasp and I said to Bree, I said, oh my goodness, there's a television sitting here. It's in great condition, and she goes, how was not there this morning? So we knew hadn't been weather damaged or, you know, people didn't come by and kick it or whatever. It must have just went out there. And she knew the lady in the apartment it was in front of and said, uh, you know, she wouldn't, she wouldn't put it out and put free on it if it didn't work. So it was from a trustworthy source, and I thought, oh, this is just meant to be. And I think, you know, I <laughs> probably looked a little crazy, but right away I just said, I'm, I, I gotta get this in your car. And I don't know how I managed my little old back, <laughs> my little old chicken legs. <laughs> I got nice and low in a squat and I lifted that thing right up. I was just so determined and it was pretty difficult, but I threw it in the back seat of her car. I didn't want anybody grabbing that while Sorry. we were. I didn't find a group or device named backseat. <sighs> Sorry you guys, Alexa was listening in. That scared the crap out of me. She hasn't done that in a while. Uh, <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was determined. We got it in the back seat. And, uh, you know, she said, there's no way you're getting that down the stairs the way you just did it now. And, and she said, you know, I'll get, I'll get JD, her boyfriend, to, to uh, help you get it down there. 
So of course now I'm just elated because it's like there's another Chekhov Project Joe's one, which I do need to pull out and update. It's it's been a hot minute. Not sure where it is actually. That's gonna be a hunt for tomorrow, a task for tomorrow's adventures. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty much it. We just we pulled up. There it was. As soon as I opened my door, like you know, universe was saying, "Ding dong, special delivery just for you." You can't get out of the car, they're tripping over it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you know, the real MVP in this story though is my best friend Bree's boyfriend, JD. JD was incredible. He grabbed that sucker right out of the car and he carried that sucker all the way down my apartment steps. I'm in a basement apartment, as you can tell by the windows. <laughs> um, he got it through the door and he plopped that sucker right there. Don't know how, or no, I think he put it over there somewhere. And then I moved it over there and that was a pain in the butt. But yeah, he did it. And I was so extremely grateful, shocked too. Cause that thing is, like I said, 78 pounds, give or take could be about 85 at most. So that's a lot for one person to take on. So I'm, I'm was very appreciative, very grateful you know because that's that's a lot of work but he did it he did it and now it's sitting here I've got all the components um, so tomorrow uh, my daddy is going to get it on the stand and from there I'm gonna wheel it into my room I'm gonna take the smart TV off the wall say goodbye to that modern technology that I just do not need in my life <laughs> and uh, and start setting up my new uh, my new entertainment system. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm very excited. It'll be like a blast in the past. Now when I watch like classic television shows, you know, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Gilmore Girls, it'll be in the right, um, it'll be in the right format, you know, it'll look nice and grainy and sound a little tinny and oh, just what I'm looking for comfort just like a, a resurgence of, of, uh, of that time so it's really gonna be such an exciting moment and that might be tomorrow who knows um, oh yes um, I could try to turn it on and show you guys actually and I'll keep it dark so you can really see it <laughs> yeah this is exciting this is the last part I wanted to get to. Sure, you can take a beating. How about these apples? All right. Oh, Mr. Microphone is in the way. I mean, the remote's a little, uh. Oh. Here we go. Oh, I can hear it. The static. Warm up there. Silly me. Okay, here we go. Ta-da! Oh, you really can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And listen to the listen to the static. Ah, oh. oh, isn't that just music to your ears? So this remote is a little, you know. It's 
<laughs> I love it. I just love it. I eat this up. It really is, I'll say this right now, it really is the little things in life, my friends. Really is the little things in life that you gotta really appreciate and just wholesomely enjoy. I'm very, very grateful for that television. Isn't that awesome? You guys even got to see the soap when you turn it off. Oh boy. Well, yeah, there you have it, folks. That's my CRT new old television uh, um, uh, addition. My 2001 Y2K bedroom is well on its way and uh, I think maybe one day I'll give you a tour of my bedroom. It's, it's pretty, excuse me, it's pretty chill. It's, it's a cool scene and it's got a, it's got a very comfy laid back 90s late 90s vibe and of course I do need to expand on it because there's still some things on that list project says one is not over yet yeah there's still more to do and of course when I get new pieces I will definitely have an episode dedicated to whatever it is I come across and add to the collection interesting cool fun little pieces so some stuff is new recreation that I find on Amazon and stuff but sometimes you can't find a good recreation I'm very specific I actually have to go to eBay or Etsy where they have the actual vintage say 2001 you know glasses or bucket hat or um, poster you know whatever you're looking for so you have to do a bit of digging but it's a lot of fun and it pays off in the end and it all kind of comes together and you just you feel good about it it's like a time machine my room's a time machine <laughs> yeah i'll share it one day <clears throat> i don't really have anything to film with other than my webcam so but i have to ask a friend to come and uh be my documenter not the word director whatever all the above i'll just sit there and look pretty and explain things <laughs> All right, folks. Well, that does bring us to the end of our episode today. And uh, if you have any suggestions for future episodes, for topics, for future episodes, rather, definitely drop them below in the comments section. And I'll be sure to give it a peek and write it down on uh, one of my sticky tabs that I always, I always write down and uh, have a few um, points for so I can remember what I'm talking about or the details within the topic. So definitely um, drop it below. Do not be afraid. We'll talk about anything. If there's questions you have or something that's bothering you or whatever it may be. Um, it's it's all welcome and, and uh, with open arms here at Travis J's Space. Or at, on Let's Talk. On Travis J's Space. <laughs> so yes, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'm very grateful for each and every one of you that tune in and... Uh, Take a little time out of your day to spend with Travi J. Thank you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Talk every Monday and Friday. Toodles for now. Ta-ta. Ciao. Till next time. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at Travi J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.